Chapter 130 One Tale of Star Obsidian Inscription Association When Murong Zi saw Wang Yuhin in the distance speaking to guests in the inscription master hall, she immediately ran up with joy. Yuhin. Long time no see. Did you miss me? Murong Zi called out from afar. Hey, you. It's really been a long time since we saw each other. Wang Yuhin, Murong Zi, and Bei Jin Yun were three girls of similar age, status, and outstanding natural talent. In Sky Fortune City, besides Kin Zing Sun, the most talked about girls were these three proud ladies. These three girls had known each other since childhood and were close friends. However, Bei Jin Yun and Murong Zi later left to attend the Seven Profound Martial House. Since Wang Yuhin favored inscription technique, and was not interested in fighting, she gave up on her opportunity to enter the Seven Profound Martial House. Bei Jin Yun asked, Yuhin, how come you aren't studying with your grandfather today? Why are you in the hall greeting guests? Oh, that's right, isn't there a very fierce guest inscription master who's come recently? Is he here today? Wang Yuhin slightly hesitated and immediately understood that there were many people who didn't know that a guest inscription master was Liming. Murong Zi and Bei Yun were disciples of the Seven Profound Martial House. How else would they not know that it was Lin Ming? A sardonic smile crossed her face as she said, He's in. I'm his assistant, so it's my duty to greet guests in the hall. Wow, an inscription prodigy that managed to have young Lady Wang as his personal assistant. He must be extraordinary. I must certainly experience this person. Murong Zi said with a flare of exaggeration. Wang Yuhin still smiling, said, Being his assistant, I can learn many things. Would you like to see him now? Ha ha, yes, I must see. At this moment, Bei Jin Yun commented. I came to Little Sister's place today because there is a matter I'd like to ask of the new guest inscription master. As she said this, she took out the medium grade human stead treasure long sword. I came this time to ask for a water attribute inscription symbol. I'd like to ask if the gentleman inscription master has time. Wang Yuhin covered her mouth and chuckled. Yes, he has the time. He's just restored his condition. Here, I'll lead you there. Lin Ming looked into the hall from the inscription room, and saw Wang Yuhin bringing in two women. As they opened the door, Lin Ming had just withdrawn from his ethereal martial intent state. His true essence and soul force had not yet restored to their optimum condition, and he heard some people come in. Lin Ming sat in meditation and said, Please write down your request on paper, lay down the materials and treasure, and you may leave. After the inscription is finished, someone will call you. During this period, please do not come in. Lin Ming spoke these words, but hadn't actually gotten a response. He slightly frowned and slowly opened his eyes. He looked back at Amir Ongzi and Bei Jin Yun staring at him with wide, round eyes. Also, Wang Yuhan was standing to their side, her smiling face filled with a happy expression. It's you. Lin Ming naturally recognized these girls. They were the seven profound proud pair of the seven profound martial house. It's... It's you? You are the guest inscription master? Mirong Zi did not know if this was simply a Lin Ming lookalike. Her pair of beautiful eyes stared at him like two large quail eggs. She looked at Lin Ming's face with an unblinking expression, as if he was an illusion that would disappear at any time. Yes, I am. Now that Lin Ming had sufficient status and influence, he no longer needed to conceal his status as an inscription master. You. You. Mirong Zi stuttered. She had heard that the new guest inscription master was young, but she had never thought that this man would be Lin Ming. Heavens, this is just so damn depressing. Is this some joke? This kick-ass elder sister has already recognized your strength. When you comprehended a martial intent, this elder sister did not have any words to say. When you had that evil monstrous perception I just took you as some hard-working farm animal. But damn, this is so depressing, since when were you an inscription master? Ah, I'm going crazy. This is just too damn shocking. Even this elder sister can't stand this. This is a joke, right? Yes. You, did you plot with this fellow to tease elder sister so you can be happy? Good. I admit that your joke is a bit creative, but... This can't be real, right? Murong Zi saw Lin Ming's serious face and heard his words, but still simply could not accept this fact. Wang Yuhin shrugged and said, I might tease you for fun, but do you think that Lin Ming would join me in teasing you? Murong Zi squinted her eyes. Yes, this Lin Ming fellow, besides cultivation did not have the slightest interest in anything else, otherwise he would have already messed with countless young ladies. How could he join with Wang Yuhin to play a joke like this on her? Not to mention they didn't really know each other, you. When did you start to study inscription technique? When I was 12 years old. Lin Ming nonsensically said. When I was 12 I ran into my master, and I studied under him. Lin Ming said this slightly with some superficialness, but his tone made Murong Zi extremely unhappy. It was just like a poor person asking a super wealthy man with one million gold tails where he got that much money, and the wealthy man finally said, I casually earned it when I was young. With this kind of indifferent tone, Murong Zi had an impulse to beat someone up. Certainly, once she considered whether or not she could beat up this farm animal, and thinking that she might not necessarily win, Murong Zi was forced to give up on this idea. By now, Bei Jin Yun had recovered from her initial shock. She unnaturally smiled and said, It's you. I see. Every time I thought I'd seen the full height of Junior Apprentice Brother Lin. In the end, I find that I have underestimated Junior Apprentice Brother Lin. This inscription technique, Junior Apprentice Brother Lin only studied for three years to be at the level of a master? Lin Ming responded, I don't dare to call myself a master, but I can draw out some simple inscription symbols. This is all because of the help of my master. Haha. <laughs> Beijing Yan let out a hollow laugh twice. Some simple inscription symbol? 
She had heard that when Lin Ming had drawn the Ice Frost Guard symbol and placed it on some armor, the armor had changed color. Could this still be called a simple inscription symbol? Three years to reach the point of being a master level inscription master. Bei Jinian could only attribute it to Lin Ming's monstrous perception that could comprehend a martial skill like the body tearing bone shattering fist with a 70% loss rate. To become a master level inscription master in three years, this also she could reluctantly accept. However, for Lin Ming to be an inscription master, was his sole talent much more outstanding than this martial arts talent? What business do you two have here today? Lin Ming opened his mouth to ask. His time was very tight these days, he didn't have any to waste. Oh. Yes, I have a matter. Bei Jinian responded, and then drew out her treasure long sword to hand to Lin Ming. The treasure sword was more than three feet long, and the shining blade was dazzlingly bright like snow. Moreover, it was extremely soft and could easily circle around one's waist. At the center of the sword pommel, there were two characters written in symbols. It wrote, Blue Water, Good Sword. Lin Ming praised as he probed the Blue Water Sword with his soul force. He discovered that the array structure was very subtle and exquisite. It was superior to most medium-grade human stat treasures. Bei Jinian said, Junior Apprentice Brother Lin, I would like you to inscribe a water attribute or ice attribute inscription symbol on this sword. The true essence increase should be at least 36%. Water or ice attribute, 36%. Anything else? No. No more. Bei Jinian listened to Lin Ming's casual tone. He obviously thought this request was very easy. She thought for a moment and said, If Junior Apprentice Brother Lin can do better, that would be for the best. If the materials are insufficient, I can add more. Lin Ming glanced at the materials on the table. Although these materials were precious, they were useless to him. He could only use them to trade for points, but no matter how many points he had, there were some materials that were impossible to buy because the inscription association did not have them. Remembering his early plan, Lin Ming came to a decision. He would use this time to utilize all that he had recently learned and see if he could draw up an inscription symbol that even Haoshan stage masters would covet. Then, after he had attracted the attention of all the Haoshan masters in the nation, he could have them help him find these rare materials. If so, they might even be collected in a short time. Thinking this, Lin Ming said, One tale of Star Obsidian. If apprentice sister Jin Yun can find one tale of Star Obsidian, then I will use my own materials and draw the highest level inscription symbol that I can. I can guarantee that apprentice sister Jin Yun will be satisfied with the end result. One tale of Star Obsidian? Bei Jin Yun hadn't spoken, but Murong Zi already cried. You dot you are way too black. One tail of star obsidian costs 15,000 gold tails. And not only that, but it's very difficult to find in the sky fortune kingdom. If you really wanted to buy it, then 15,000 gold tails might not be enough. Star obsidian was not only used in inscription, but also in refining. It was an extremely precious and rare material. Lin Ming said, My true essence has recently thickened and condensed even more, and the level of my inscriptions has risen. But, I can still only barely draw up this inscription, and there is a risk of failure. Moreover, the value of the materials will not be less than six or seven thousand gold tails. I can guarantee that as long as I succeed, it is absolutely worth it. Were it not for the fact that the inscription association did not have any star obsidian, I would not have proposed this request. This. Bei Jinian clenched her teeth and said, Okay, my uncle in the Huo nation has some influence. I think he can find it. I promise you. Bei Jinian had a very high status within the Bei family. Although fifteen thousand gold tails was not a small amount, if it was just one time, she was able to bring this much out. Well. Then I will thank apprentice sister Jin Yun. Lin Ming said. He took out a pen and immediately began to write down a detailed list of materials. For these materials, spend the money and points from my account. Lin Ming said as he handed the list to Wang Yuan. This time was Lin Ming's personal business. Normally, according to the regulations of the Inscription Association, the guests had to pay the guest inscription master and inscription association in a 60-40 ratio. The inscription association provided the materials, and the guest inscription master provided the service. However, with Lin Ming's current status, the Inscription Association would haggle over him occasionally taking advantage of his reputation as a guest inscription master and using the Inscription Association's materials to take on a personal request. Wang Yuhin read the rows of materials, and she was slightly startled. The value of these materials was not low. Generally speaking, even tedious high-quality inscription symbols would only cost 1,000 gold tails in materials. But the cost of this inscription symbol that Lin Ming wanted to draw up was 7,000 gold tails, and there were also several materials that were fairly rare. After the materials were collected, Lin Ming did not immediately start drawing the inscription symbol. Instead, he took up a true essence stone and once again entered the ethereal martial intent state. He sat in meditation and adjusted his condition for half an hour, to restore his true essence and soul force back to their peak condition. Afterwards, Lin Ming began to formally draw the inscription symbol. What he was going to create today, was the complete version of Cold Eyes Fragment.